Hi friends! Today we will learn how to add and subtract integers. So let's start. We have already learned about integers in our last section. Let's revise. Integers is a list of numbers that has negative numbers and whole numbers starting from zero. Where negative one is the largest negative number. So the value of negative numbers decrease as we move towards the left. This is why negative 2 is smaller than negative 1, and negative 3 is smaller than negative 2, and so on and so forth. So remember, all values of negative numbers are always less than 0. And we use negative numbers to depict values lower than 0. For example, temperature. We often record temperatures as negative 3, negative 4, negative 10, or negative 15. All these temperatures are below zero, and negative 15 degrees Celsius is a temperature lower than negative 5 degrees. As we learned that the value of negative numbers decrease as we move left. Negative numbers can also be used to show bank balances which are less than zero, like negative 500. This is $500 less than zero. You need to pay $500 to the bank. So now we know what are integers. And we also know the concept of negative numbers. Now we'll be learning how to add and subtract integers on the number line. Now we have to add one and three. You can start at 1 and hop 3 times. You get 4. So 1 plus 3 is 4. Now add 2 to 5. So start at 5 and hop 2 times. You get 7. So 2 plus 5 equals 7. Now you have to subtract 2 from 5. Remember, when we add positive integers, we move to the right. And whenever we subtract a positive integer, we move to the left. So we start at 5, and then we move two places towards the left. 4, 3, so you get 5 minus 2 is 3. Let's take another problem. We have to subtract 4 from 6. So we have to subtract a positive integer. So we will move four places towards the left, starting from six. So six to five, five to four, four to three, and then we get three to two. So the answer is two. Six minus four is two. This is how we add and subtract positive integers. Let's repeat. If we had to add a positive integer, move towards the right. If you have to subtract a positive integer, move towards the left, and you'll get the answer. Now, let's learn how to add negative integers. You have to add negative 3 and 1. Now, here's the thing to remember. When you add an integer, you move to the left, as in the case of subtracting a positive integer. So, 1 plus negative 3 is the same as 1 minus 3, and you will move towards the left. So start at 1 and move 3 places to the left. 1 to 0, 0 to negative 1, and then negative 1 to negative 2. You get negative 2 as the final answer. So 1 plus negative 3 equals negative 2. Now let's set up another question. We have to add 1 and negative 4. What do we have to do? You'll be moving towards the left of 1, as we have learned to add a negative number to 1. And whenever we have to do this, we have to move towards the left. So start at 1, and then move 4 places to the left. 1 to 0, 0 to negative 1, negative 1 to negative 2, and then negative 2 to negative 3. So 1 plus negative 4 equals negative 3. Adding a negative number is the same as subtracting a positive integer. So we can write this as 1 minus 4 equals 3. So we have another question. We have to add negative 4 to 2. What will you do? 
He will start at 2, then move 4 places towards the left. 2 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to negative 1, negative 1 to negative 2. So we get the final answer as negative 2. This equation can be rewritten as 2 minus 4 equals 2. Now let's subtract a negative integer from a positive integer. Let's subtract negative 1 from 1. Remember, when you have to subtract a negative integer, you move towards the right. So what will you do? You will move one place towards the right of 1. The answer will be 2. 1 minus negative 1 equals 2. Adding a negative integer is the same as adding its inverse, so it's the same as 1 plus 1. Now let's subtract negative 4 from 2. Start at 2, and then you move 4 to the right. 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. 2 minus negative 4 is 6. So notice, whenever you have two negative signs together, we replace them with a plus sign. Oh. This can be rewritten as 2 plus 4 equals 6. So notice, whenever you have two negative signs, we replace them with the sign of plus, as in a 2 minus negative 4 becomes 2 plus 4. Now we have to add negative 4 with 2. We learned that when adding that number, we have to move towards the left. So we subtract. 2 plus negative 4 is 2 minus 4. Moving 4 places towards 2. Moving 4 places from 2 towards the left. We get 2 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to negative 1, negative 1 to negative 2 to get negative 2. So remember, 2 plus negative 4 is the same as 2 minus 4. Now we have to subtract negative 3 from 2. Move towards the right. Move three places towards the right of 2. The answer will be 5. So 2 minus negative 3 is the same as 2 plus 3. The answer is still 5. Next, subtract negative 3 from negative 7. We learned that for subtracting negative integers, we move towards the right. So three places towards the right from negative 7. Negative 7 to negative 6, then negative 5 then to negative 4. We get negative 4 as the final answer. Negative 7 minus negative 3 is the same as negative 7 plus 3. And we learned that we have to add two integers that have a different sign. We have to add positive 3 and negative 7. Then we have to find this difference and we put the sign of the bigger number with the answer. Difference between 7 and 3 is 4 and the sign will be negative, because negative 7 is a larger number. When you subtract a negative number, you move towards the right. You can start at negative 7, then move 3 places towards the right to get negative 4. Next, we have to add 3 to negative 9. We learned that whenever we have to add a positive integer, we move towards the right. So negative three, so negative nine, and then move three towards the right. We get negative six as the final answer. And remember, when you have to add two integers with different signs, what will you do? You will find there are difference, and the answer will have the sign of the bigger number. Nine minus three is six, bigger number is negative nine, so answer will be negative six. Another sum. We have to subtract negative 8 from 7. We learn that whenever we subtract a negative number, we move towards the right. So start at 7 and then move 8 places towards the right. 7 to 8 to 9, then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then finally stop at 15. So we moved 8 places towards the right of 7. Answer will be 15. Also, 7 minus 8 is the same as 7 plus 8. Whenever two negative signs come together, they become a plus sign. So 7 plus 8 equals 15. Now negative 6 plus negative 3. What do we have to do? We have to add a negative integer. And we learned whenever we have to add a negative integer, we move towards the left. Start at negative 6, then move three places towards the left. So the final answer will be negative 9. 
Also, if we don't have the number line, remember, a plus sign and minus sign comes together to become a minus. So it will be negative 6 minus 3. And whenever we have two negative signs together, we perform addition. Minus 6 minus 3 equals negative 9. The sign will remain negative. Next, we have to add minus 9 with 9. Whenever we add a negative integer, move towards the left. Start at 9 and move 9 places towards the left to get 0. 9 plus negative 9 is 0. Therefore, whenever we have two opposite signs, it becomes a minus sign. So 9 plus negative 9 is the same as 9 minus 9, which equals 0. Let's recall what we did. We learned three important rules to add numbers on the number line. Whenever you have to add a positive integer, you move towards the right. And whenever you have to add a negative integer, you move towards the left. If you have to subtract a positive integer, you move towards the left. And if you have to subtract a negative integer, you move towards the right. For example, 2 minus 1. You have to subtract a positive integer. So you move towards the left. Move one place towards the left from 2 to get 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. But if you have to subtract a negative integer, 2 minus negative 1, you will move towards the right. You will have to start at 2 and then move one place towards the right. So 2 minus negative 1 is actually 3. I'm repeating the rules once again. If you have to add a positive integer, you'll move towards the right. If you have to add a negative integer, you'll move towards the left. If you have to subtract a positive integer, you'll move towards the left. And if you have to subtract a negative integer, you move towards the right. You need practice. These are four different rules for subtracting integers on a number line. And more practice makes this more easy.